Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last few years, we've enjoyed 84% of our students getting offers from Imperial's Masters in Business Analytics. That's a whopping 12 times the average acceptance rate, which sits at just 7%. We have 38 Imperial specific tips and I'm going to go through a few with you today to help maximize your chances of getting into Imperial Business School. Jumping straight in, my number one tip for this course is learn Python. It doesn't matter what level you have. You can be a total beginner who's just done a few hours, but it is a quantitative course. They are very interested in coding and data handling. And if you are unable to show any interest in your past 20, 30 years of coding, why should they give you a place when some people have? So I strongly recommend doing something. If you haven't already covered it as part of your degree program or in your job, that's absolutely fine. Go and find a free online course and talk about how much you're enjoying it. It's also good to learn, uh, if not Python, in addition to that, maybe HTML, maybe a, a basic elementary C language, uh, or even SQL, which will help you to organize your data and queries. The top candidates that I work with will have specialized in two or three of these languages, two at the beginning level, one at intermediate level, and that is essential because this is a hard to get into course at just 7%. Now, Imperial really care about your career. In fact, they've got a unique career planning section. Many students log in on the night that they're going to submit, they try and copy and paste their generic personal statement from another top university such as LSC or LBS and submit it to Imperial. They find that there's a whole section of career planning questions. What do you want to do? What backup options do you have in your career? Have you done research on the recruitment criteria? What do they do? Well, in many cases, those students are foolishly going to just type in the first thing that comes into their head and be shocked and horrified when they are rejected. No, you are now armed with the knowledge that there is effectively a second hidden personal statement, a set of career planning questions in addition to your personal statement. And those career planning questions need to be just as well written as your polished personal statement. They are looking for a five-year career plan. What is the specific role at the specific company you are going to join? A huge amount of people say they want to join McKinsey as a consultant. Can you go further? Can you talk about their subsidiary Quantum Black? How AI is being redefined by the people in those companies? Can you mention other more boutique firms in London to make yourself stand out? Sit on LinkedIn and find out what other graduates have gone into and map out a career path to help you to stand out in this section. Now, thirdly, Imperial will offer this unique Kira Prep online interview. This is a challenging interview because whereas most interviews will be conducted online or in person and you'll have a back and forth with someone, in this interview, they will ask you a question, it will then cut to black and you'll be left staring at your own face for 60 seconds. This can be rather disconcerting. Preparation is key, and we are proud to have a nearly 100% success rate of converting this pre-recorded interview into an offer. We have over 200 past paper questions in our question bank that have been asked in the past, as well as 16 unique tips for this type of interview to help you feel confident and controlled and positive when you are staring at a blank screen. Our consultants will even put you on Zoom and practice turning off the screen so you get used to looking at yourself. We can record it, show it back to you. And these are tips not just helpful for your university application, but for your career beyond as well. Now for any master's application, there are five key pillars you must include. In the UK, at master's level, you will write a direct application to Imperial for this course. Unlike undergraduate level, it will not be shared between your other universities. This gives you a unique opportunity to do specific university research. So the first bit that we're going to cover is uni research. Look at the modules that are on this course. 
you'll see there's a lot on machine learning, AI, and data, and systems like Python, which is why if you mentioned you've already done some beginner's Python, it sounds like you've already done the first couple of weeks of the course, and this will give you a huge advantage. Look at which lecturers there are and who most excites you. Look at the societies that you can join and the other opportunities Imperial offers, such as their capstone project and their international experiences. Talk about these to show that you have thought about this degree and that this degree is right for your career. Number two, as we've covered, really important that you have a detailed career plan. Number three, subject experience. You will want to talk about how you have worked with, or failing that, studied machine learning, visualization, and or Python. And I strongly recommend you to start taking courses you haven't already on these, so you have more to talk about in this section. This is a course that requires a first class. They'll accept a high two one, but with 7% acceptance rate, they do have a lot of applicants to choose from. There's 14 for each place. I recommend having a first class. And in addition to that, I would also strongly recommend strengthening your application by studying some of the tools that you will already be using on that course. Our fourth pillar is work experience. For this course more than others, you have a unique position here where they're looking for you to already have three months of experience in something relevant, but you should have fewer than three years in total. So this is a course for those who are close to graduation, but it's slightly longer than the two years at other management courses, implying that the average student who's applying to this course will have already done some sort of internship or post experience for at least one or two years. So consider doing some experience before applying so that you have knowledge of data visualization and Python. And number five, bring it all together, your motivation. This is fundamentally a management related course and there are so many interesting things that are happening with data, AI, visualization and tech. Pick a part of the world that is changing and talk about how your career plan, how your work experience, how your subject knowledge and this university course will help you to be part of a solution to some of the interesting challenges that are happening in management today and make that your first line. I'm applying to Imperial's MSc Business Analytics in order to be part of and talk about that big mission statement. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Richard and I work with a team of over 1,000 expert professionals who spend all year round helping give our students the maximum possible chance of getting into a top rated university. If you'd like to work with me or my colleagues, please contact us using the description on screen now or in the description box below. We love it when you leave comments, so let us know if you have any budding questions. And if you can, like or subscribe, that's gonna help us too. And one last thing, if you'd like to see an exemplar personal statement, please subscribe to our email list below. We'll send you an exemplar statement, as long as some tips, other top videos and blogs to help you maximize your chances of getting into Imperial. Best of luck with your applications.